And today we look at one of the most famous fights of all time in the 1990 Grand Final. It was a game that left Terry Danaher with a 12-match suspension, while Collingwood on the quarter-time siren were chasing their first flag in some 32 years. During the week, Nathan Brown caught up with both Gavin Brown and Terry Danaher. Gav was a superstar of the day. He was 22 years old. Was it premeditated to take him out of the game? You're out there to win the game and, and, and play your part in the team. And uh, for me, to play on someone like Gavin, who was in pretty good form leading into the match, and I, was, I felt that I was, I was a bit spasmodic in, in, with my form. And, uh, and I think it was that fear of you know, uh, not letting your teammates down uh, made me go, you know, I was hell-bent on a stop, playing my part in the game, and that was to stop Gavin. And we have the brawl of the siren and Mary. Well, we saw him plenty of attention as Kelly. And we thought this had happened very early on, and now they're not, they're not mucking around these guys. You belted Gavin. What were your recollections of it? Well, Spawny, I don't know uh, who he had an altercation with, but uh, he was sort of getting mixed up in the fray, and, uh, and then Gav jumped in on Spawny and bowled him over, and then, and of course, uh, I come in a bit later on. Gav was a bit quicker than I was, <laughs> and uh, a bit more anxious to get down there, I think. But uh, anyhow, and Gav swung around, and, uh, and the rest was history, I suppose. Yeah, my recollections are pretty similar. There's a blue down on the down on the half forward flank, and the siren had gone, and um, you know, if myself and TD uh, had gone back to the huddles, um, we would have been the only ones there, TD talking to Sheeds and me talking to Lee, because everyone else was down there. So, uh, yeah, we went down there, and, um, and as TD said, uh, Kieran uh, hit Banksy, I think, and that's when I come in and hit Kieran. And, um, yeah, that's, so it's pretty much um, the way it went. Quarter time came, Gavin, you weren't part of that, but famously Lee Matthews said, don't fight, go after the ball. If they want to fight, let them fight. Was that a master stroke? Yeah, it probably was a master stroke. I think uh, you just, a team that settled down, I guess, after that, because there's so much going on. As TD said, I mean, it was, it was the whole, both sides really um, involved. So, um, yeah, and I think we did obviously settle down. You know, they uh, were a lot more disciplined than what we were. Uh, you know, you gave don't a have to be of too, too smart to, under, you know, to, to understand that the, uh, there's going to be pressure on the umpires. You know, you play the ball, and uh, you're going to get the uh, you, you'll get the free kicks because they're towy. They want to get back uh, control the game, and uh, but un unfortunately for us, we give some silly free kicks away, and uh, and obviously we're penalised. And full credit to Collingwood. Gavin, you came back on in the third quarter. Do you remember it? No, I, I certainly can. Um, people often ask, you know, what do you remember of the game? But I, I guess I'm fortunate. I remember. Uh, the start of it and the end of it, and I think if you're going to pick two parts you want to remember, they're the, they're the one. So I certainly, yeah, no, I remember coming on. When you did come on in the third quarter, you went straight up to TD, looked like you might have need him. What was said amongst that exchange? I just told Gav to settle down. <laughs> we're going to be played yet. Just slowly concentrate on the footy. Did you think uh, one was coming back at some stage in the second half? Oh, look, there's uh, plenty of those. He had to, you know, weigh up the whole situation and, uh, you know, and... Uh, but it was pretty easy, mate. I was on the last line of fence, so my back was to the goal. <laughs> so the game was in front of me. Turn is caught, but he gets his foot to the ball and kicks it to the front of the square. Oh, nearly Brown. Eston under pressure. Brown will kick a goal. And if that doesn't bring the roof off the MCG, nothing will. He kicked a great goal in the third quarter after coming back on. How did that feel? Oh, look, probably at the time, to be honest, it was, um, it, it was just... Um, it was just a goal. It wasn't anything, you know, really special. I guess when you look back on it, um, to have uh, um, to have played my part and kicked a couple of goals is, is is pretty special. The next time you met was for a representative game down at Glen Ferry Oval. Teddy Whitten grabbed you both, got you front in the cameras. What did you say? Oh well, yeah, that's right. Well, TD, I think you were the captain, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. TD was the captain, and uh, he just. I think there was a bit of media there, wasn't there? And, t and um, um, Teddy grabbed us both and, you know, in front of the cameras and, <laughs> and uh, just said a few words, and, uh, which probably broke the ice a bit. The great thing about footy, though, Gavin, is you can sit here today, you've both belted each other, it's a long time ago, but you're mates, you laugh, you have a great time together. Oh, look, it is, there's no doubt. And, you know, TD, every now and again when, he when he's in the area, he's actually... Um, called up and said you're free for coffee and those sorts of things. So you're dead right. I mean, it's, um, you know, we, uh, we're all competitors. We all want to win. Um, we've, you know, TD's won premierships. I've been involved in premiership. Um, so we've both been very lucky with our footy. And, um, 
Yeah, you're dead right. It's, uh, that's what it's all about. It's just not the winning and the losing, the, comp the, the competition, but the mateship as well. Well done, Nathan, and well done in particular to the yeah, guys, well and especially done. TD, who, you know, recount the journey of what got him 12 weeks. A lot of players would be pretty bitter about that. He was terrific, and I asked him, would he go through the whole thing again? Would he belt him again to win a grand final? And he pretty much said, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs>